Park Family Adventures. It's time to hit the road. Don't be a tosser. Put it in the bin. Welcome back everybody, um, Josh here, Pug Family Australia, got Kira with me on the camera. Um, we're just going to do another uh, Blue Claw catch, clean and cook today and tomorrow. We're going to set the traps here, it's late afternoon now. Um, it's probably the last of the hot weather here so they're going to get hard to get shortly so I thought I might as well do one more for the year. Um, I'll just show you how we're doing it today. I didn't show you last time, I've just got some old chicken drumsticks that have gone bad. I had them in the fridge for a, uh, a couple of days longer than what I should have had them. Um, just using these traps and pretty basic really. Um, got the bait in the middle. Flyers having fun with it. That chicken stinks a little bit. Just got a little steel pipe, steel bloody skewer in the ground. And what I'll do, I'll just space them out along this um, channel here. And just throw them in at different, like some I'll put only just in shallow and some I'll put out in the middle. And that's not how, that's how not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, lost my bait and everything. I'll have to redo this. <laughs> that's how not to do it, everyone. Just in case you were wondering. <laughs> Putting it back on there. They were a bit frozen when I put them in there, so the I couldn't tighten that wire up real good. So it's probably a good idea to redo them. Better. Just tie this on here. Just like that. Um, these black ones. I've actually got a bit of dog food in the pouch there on these black ones. There's not too much in that one, but there's a fair bit in that one. You can see I haven't got a chicken drumstick in him, just to um, test it out. Mm -hmm. Rightio, we'll get all these set. Um, you don't want to see me setting them all. And I suppose we'll catch it when we're pulling them up. Rightio, time to pull the first one and see how we go. He's been pumping a fair bit of fresh water in here, so I don't know how we're going to go. So I've got a few there. A couple of good size eating ones. Check them all for um, eggs on the way in, and I'll keep the little ones again for bait. We actually used a bit of the bait the other day. I've got rainwater in here with a bit of ice to settle them down. It won't kill them, but it'll stop them from wanting to kill each other. I've got a big lobster in the back there. I'll get these shrimps back in the water. A nice big fella there, he's a bit dirty, but That one just got me. <laughs> Rightio, yeah, I'll get rid of this bait and go again.
everyone. We got the um, all the traps pulled up. We did a couple of runs of them. Uh, just threw them back in. We just hanged around for an hour or so and um, re-pulled them. We ended up with a good feed. Well, uh, I'm not too sure how many. I didn't count them. But we'll go home and lay them out and we'll cook a few up. I think the old man wants some this time. He got a bit cranky last time because I told him after I called him and ate him. <laughs> Righto, catch you then. Made it back home. Um, got not a bad haul here actually, check it out. On the yeah, he's still kicking. I'll put it, put them in the freezer. These smaller ones were still a bit, didn't get quite cold enough. Um, I'm going to show you a method today. Something a little bit different. First, we'll depoo them. Take the tail off. Cut down the centre. Put the tail out just like that. Quick rinse. I'll do that. I'll do that, do a few, and then we'll come back. You can see I've already done a few there. I'll, um, I'll only do a few because the old man will have a boil up later. I don't know whether I'll film that or not. But I want to save most of them for a boil up. I'm just going to cook a few now just to give you a look at what, what the go is. Um, what have I got there? Five or six. I'll do one more. Uh, this one here will do. Take the entrail out. You sort of got to get your thumb under the shell while they're still raw. They don't peel nearly as easy as after they've been boiled. But it is doable. That's it. Okay, we've got the pan nice and hot. All I've got in here is just a bit of bar, uh, a bit of butter and garlic, nothing else. And we'll put our tails in. And just fry them off. Get them all covered up. Just let them saute around in there for. 10 minutes or so, or well not even. A few minutes. got interrupted by a phone call, sorry about that. Um, we've got, I've already finished cooking them and eaten a few. I almost forgot that I didn't record it. <laughs> I forgot that I was recording and started eating them, but oh, they're bloody beautiful. There's only like seven yabbies there and it's bloody near a, a peas in itself. I'd say about a 10 out of 10, if you like garlic. We'll leave it there. Um, I'm gonna sort all these out and Put them back on the ice, ready for tonight, and we'll catch you on the next video. Catch you later.